this is soya made in Morty's kitchen if you want to try Cameroon soya grilled meat made in Morty's kitchen soya watch this video till the end and you'll see how to make quick soya in your house during quarantine yeah this is the final result of the the, the soya Take this off put it here soya deye soya deye Soya de soya de soya de soya de soya de soya de soya 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 Mesdames, Mesdemoiselles, Mesdames, Mesdemoiselles et Messieurs, bienvenue sur la chaîne Consistance Place, bienvenue dans la cuisine Moti. Aujourd'hui, je suis très fière de vous présenter une recette du Cameroun, le soya. Si vous avez déjà eu à voyager de Bamenda, Yaoundé, de Douala, Yaoundé, euh, Douala, Bamenda, vous aurez eu à vous arrêter à Makenene. Euh, dans le cas de Bamenda, Yaoundé, vous aurez eu à vous arrêter à Kekem. Euh, dans le cas de Bamenda Douala, et là vous aurez dû manger du soya qui est très très délicieuse. So, donc voilà la recette dont je vais vous présenter. Hi everyone, welcome to Consistence Place Channel. Welcome to Morty's Kitchen. Today I'm so excited to present to you one recipe. Very a Cameroon delicacy that is very very a, a roadside snack. If you've had, if you've been to Cameroon, you've traveled from Bamenda to Yaoundé and a stop at Makenene or Bamenda to Douala, stop at Kemken, you must have had to try this soya, delicate soya. Growing up is a fancy treat. Growing up as a young girl, young girls were considered uh, bad mannered if they see you eating soya all the time because sugar daddies were usually the one offering soya to girls. But this is not the case here. I'm doing it for my family during this quarantine period. So I'm so excited to share this recipe with you. Right here, I'm having, I do it with beef and pork. Right here today, I have, I had just pork in my freezer. So I defrosted it and this pork shoulder butt. And this recipe, guys, I give shout out to my brother, Gaitan. Gaitan Chewa, he's the one that taught me how to do this. He does it so well. And I hope I do it like him because he's an expert. He supplies it here in the US. So I, he taught me how to do this. So this recipe, guys, is from a professional. And what we do, we just have to cut up the meat. So my meat has already been washed. What I do, I just have to like slice it into chunks. pieces. There's a fat bone inside. All you do is take out the, the bone. Then you just have to cut the meat into flat pieces. The good thing is it has fat. And then when you when you grill it, when you grill it, you can the fat can melt and give the meat this good a uh, moist juicy effect, a juicy texture. And uh, this is supposed to be done on the grill, please. But I have my stove. My stove has a grill in the oven part. Broil. That a broil that is kind of like a grill you can grill on it when you broil, it looks like a grill so if you do not have that kind of an oven you better do this you better do this on a grill outside outside in a backyard grill or anything this is done usually done on a grill but my own oh, my stove my oven uh, has a broil option that broils like a grill it actually burns stuff like a grill so that way that's why i'm doing it on my oven so if you do this on your oven that doesn't have that that option you might get a different result. It might dry up the meat or you might not get the same effect. So I'm just doing this in the oven because I have that option in my oven. If you don't, you have to do this on the grill outside in the backyard. Okay? All right then. So this is um, the spices that I have mixed up. Uh, let me know. This is usually a composition of dry ingredients. I did white pepper, black pepper, curry powder, hot pepper, uh, seasoning salt, salt. I just mixed it up to season the meat and then when, when I season the meat I'll keep it overnight it has best results when you keep the seasoned meat overnight so that the seasoning can penetrate in the meat well 
and this if you want me to show you how i do my my ingredient mix leave a comment down below and i also have the kang kang that i made up myself i also have another portion that came from cameroon if you want me to show you how i did my kang kang leave a comment down below but this is just seasoning you can do any seasoning of your option i mean i just mix the dry spices all up that i had uh, mostly dry pepper I already listed it so that's how we do and i'm just going to season that i'm putting there so now at my i've sliced my meat into flat flat chunks i just sit massage the, the seasoning into the pieces well and then we keep overnight like i said if you want this recipe for this please leave a comment down otherwise you can just do your own recipe the way you want to season it and keep it in the fridge in the refrigerator for overnight penetration I just want you to notice this bone in that meat this is the bone that came off this is all about the bone that came off we need to go around it to take it off usually i don't throw it i just season it and add it to my and grill it and then i try to eat it off okay. so now we are just going to put this in the refrigerator what we do we just put this in the refrigerator and cover it for the next day. next day you just take the meat out of the refrigerator and put it in your aluminum foil this way that's why i improvise mine in the house just put it on broil Broil. Oh, sorry. Broil. That. Okay. You just set it in there for like 20 minutes. So now, now you just turn. The meat has been cooking. Now we just turn the sides. See that? Turn the sides again. Turn the sides. Turn the sides. See that burnt effect is ready. It's ready. See that burnt effect. That's exactly what we want. Yeah, this is the final result of the 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 soya. I'm just going to pick it up now and cut it up, and that's how it is. I'll put it here. Soya, deye, soya, deye, soya, 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 deye, oh, soya, deye. This you just cut it off into pieces. Soya deye, soya deye. In fact, this is just like when those uh, Magida guys are cutting off soya. It's like this. See, it's burnt, cooked, and still moist. You see that? Very moist. Yeah. Just cut it off. See that? So yeah, oh, so yeah, it's cooking in Morty's kitchen. Let me do this. You want to taste soya? Soya is cooking in Morty's kitchen. Okay, side. Uh, vous devez vous découper un peu d'oignon euh, pour le, le soya. Le soya va très bien avec de l'oignon. Voilà, faut pas vous découper un peu d'oignon. Just cut some onion by the side. Soya is really good with some onions. I think I should do the rings. Just cut some onions at the sides. And... Thank you so much for watching this soya video. And thank you for joining us in Moti's kitchen. So um, just make make your soya come out in the and sit in your at your front door. Greet the neighbors. Hi neighbor. And then you taste your soya. So 
I'm going to be testing this soya now. Thank you for this food, Lord. Bless and in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, God. Amen. So we are going to taste as well. You take a piece and then you dip it in the can in the can can pepper. Mm -hmm. I love this soya because it's very juicy, not dry. You can snack on it. You can even use it to cook other food. It's so good. Try this while you're on quarantine and you enjoy with your family. Mm. It is gorgeous on other recipes, better with the grilled meat. You can use it for other recipes. It's something to try out for this quarantine period. Thank you so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've watched up to this level, what, what, and haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to this channel and then watch out for next video. And don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you don't miss any new stuff that I upload. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye.